Hi everyone, welcome back. Chitra here. In this video, I will be sharing with you a review and demo of this grinder. First, we will examine the features of Ultra Mini Wet Grinder. This grinder comes with the manufacturer's warranty of 5 years. It has uh, patented conical stones for the grinding and this is really practical. It grinds quite fast and it's also easy to clean. This is also a lot lighter than my previous grinders. Then the capacity of this grinder is 1.25 liters. Then there's the food grade stainless steel drum and the motor power is 85 watts, which is quite powerful. Then they also give you a spatula for moving grains around and for batter cleaning. And then you have a lid to avoid the splash. Ultra Mini Grinder has no timer function, so you will have to switch it on and off and you have to monitor it. You can grind probably about 3 cups of soaked grains at one time. I usually do it in two batches so the motor doesn't heat up. The other main advantage of this grinder is it's quite practical for a small family. We are a small family of three and I think this is more than sufficient for us. The other one was quite bulky. Then it is also a lot sleeker and a lot lighter to handle. The total weight of this grinder including the packaging was less than 10 kilograms and we could transport it in one of our bigger suitcase very easily. It's not as bulky and the stone is also pretty light and you can easily wash and handle. The only disadvantage is it takes slightly more space. I didn't want to take a bigger grinder. I wanted mini. More than that was not needed. So it takes a little bit more space than my ultra fast grind. And the motor is placed next to the grinding drum. This has one advantage is that the grains don't get heated up during the grinding process. This was a complaint some of the viewers had from my older ultra fast grind wet grinder. They said that it was really uh, heating up. So my suggestion was to use cold water or to take the grains soaked from the fridge and grind it. So I don't know how practical is that. So in this case, we can avoid the heating up of the grain. And even this motor does get heated up if you're running it continuously two, three batches. So what I usually do is I give a gap of about 20 minutes between each grinding and I usually grind it in two batches. So it's easier. This is my uh, personal preference to avoid the motor getting heated as I don't have access to any service. So let me demonstrate to you what I will be grinding. I will be grinding a multi-grain idli batter with this. For this, I have soaked one cup of uretal, half a cup of moong dal. Then instead of only using rice, I have soaked one cup of millet and two and a half cups of uh, idli rice. I usually soak all my grains overnight and so it is easier the next day to grind because some of the grains don't grind so well if it is just soaked for three to four hours in my case. Then for opening you press this, you press this button and then you can open and then this comes with a small spatula and then conical patented and, and a small drum. It's pretty light. Let me start with grinding the batter now. I will let it run a little bit so that you can hear the sound of this machine. I will add a little bit of water first. Fit in the stone. This is the grain which I soaked. I'm going to be grinding it in two batches. So now it's locked. This is for opening and this is locked and then we start it. Not as loud as the ultra fast grind. 
I'm choosing to do it on this so it's easier to film. Otherwise, I would use the top one. Add a little bit more water and because I'm mixing the rice and the dal, it's not splashing too much. And I think that's quite a positive thing. If you just do the dal, it always splashes too much, especially urad dal gets very, very fluffy. of the batter after 10 minutes it's quite smooth I will be running it maybe a couple of minutes more and then transferring it into a bowl I soaked this uh, grains overnight because over here fermentation is difficult living in a colder country so I always soak them overnight and it's also good to dispose the water you soaked in because of the phytic acid which is in the grains when you are discarding it, you have removed out quite a lot of the phytic acid and when you ferment it, it's much more easier for you to digest. To open, press this button to open and I could demonstrate the batter cleaner. So this is how you can use the batter cleaner. Let it drip down. I have a feeling that it is something more extra to clean. I have to do quite a lot of work for this uh, batter cleaner. I think I'll just transfer it straight to the pot. Probably at the end of the full grinding process, this could be worthwhile to use. best part is I can lift it hold one finger like this and then I can hold the other side in the other one was a little bit impossible Now I'm going to be adding the salt. You could actually add the salt while grinding, but I prefer to add it after seeing the final ground quantity. And then I will ferment this and tomorrow make idlis out of this one. Maybe because I added some millet, it didn't grind that well. Probably with only rice, it would have ground smoother. Next time I wouldn't do it with millet. There are two negatives with this grinder. One is that the base of this grinder, which has a few foot, is, has a rubber cap to stop it from jerking and to reduce the noise. I would suggest that you lift it altogether and don't drag it. We did that mistake and after the second time, one of the rubber cap came out and we cannot fix it back. If you would open it, then we will lose the warranty. So we try to leave it as it is. This is one negative and the second is while you're grinding urad dal, it does splash a lot. So best is you stay and monitor it and the other option would be to grind both the dal and the rice together then it doesn't splash. Despite me closing it on the lid, I had a real mess. And also the capacity of this grinder is quite small so make sure you do not overload the machine. This is my suggestion. And these are the two negatives which I found. I wish there was a timer function, but on the other hand, it doesn't matter really. You can multitask and have an eye on this grinder now and then. I hope this video was useful to you and you could get some information. If your 
keen on buying some wet grinder. Grinding your grains like this with a stone is actually quite healthy than using a mixer. Mixer heats up the grain and the whole fermentation process is not as good as when you grind it with stone. Actually nothing like when you grind it in the old fashioned way but modern times I'm happy to have this machine and I can enjoy at least despite living in the West because such uh, concepts are not there in the West. We had to change the plug from the Indian plug to a Swiss plug. This was the only thing we did. I don't know how useful is this batter cleaner because um, I thought it was a little bit extra to clean. We might as well use our hands for it. Nothing like having good prana from your hands. So this was not something uh, which I would recommend personally. Probably if you have a watery batter, it may drain out everything. But if it's a little bit too thick, it doesn't really drain out. It needs your help. If you have the patience, you could let it drip, but it dries up. So I will use my hand in the future. Thank you for watching. I will link below my older ultra fast grind wet grinder videos in the description box below. Feel free to share any comments or suggestions in the comment section below. I will also link below the Amazon link for this product in the description box. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye.